Hey, Hustas, and happy Sunday. Okay, oh, how was y'all church today? Mine was so good, and the Holy Spirit was raining, and I just love God, and I hope y'all too. You know what? We're about to cook that after church dinner. Okay, y'all, now, you know we all eat chicken, right? <laughs> and so look here, you know, I, I normally do chicken wings in the air fry and I do the chicken legs in the oven. Very seldom if I do a whole roasted chicken in the cast iron skillet. Okay, y'all, but we're going to do this together. That's it, that's all. So stick and stay and let's see what the dinner going to be. Uh, the whole of it. So here is the whole chicken, washed, clean, and dry. Now y'all know I, I always use the same seasoning, so I have my one tablespoon because everything is like for me a tablespoon. But you know I like to season hard, and so I will probably use just a little bit over a tablespoon. But with the salt. It's always going to be like a teaspoon because I don't want my food salty. So let's get started. Oh, and you know what? We're going to do a rosemary chicken. I had some rosemary, some fresh rosemary, and I forgot about it. But y'all, I'm going to stuff some of this rosemary under in that breast where I'm going to put the butter under that skin. And I'm going to also put uh, onion and rosemary in the body of the chicken as well. So y'all ready? Y'all ready? Y'all ready to get started, y'all? I'm ready. But let me get a spoon so when I do this, I can stir it all together, right? Y'all, I'm just so happy. Still looking for a job, that is. But we're going to have some unemployment, so. Until that job comes, because I know it's coming. So that's it, that's all. So let's get started. I'm going to use some uh, powdered chicken bouillon, y'all, and I'm going to do, uh, I don't know if I want to do a whole tablespoon, so I'm going to do just a half a, I, I'm, oh, I need to let y'all see what I'm doing. I'm always looking at y'all, but y'all can just see what I'm doing. So I'm going to do uh, just a half a tablespoon of the chicken bouillon, y'all. And then let's go ahead and get this salt out the way. I'm, you know, I'm gonna do. I, you know, I'm just gonna put a little bit in here because I don't have my my teaspoon out. But y'all, this is all the salt I'm using. We're gonna go ahead and move that out the way. Now this pepper, y'all know I love, 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 love my black pepper. So we gonna. I'm not gonna do a whole. Uh, well, I do three quarters of uh, a tablespoon of black pepper and then of course with this um, Lowry season all I'm gonna do a half of that too because you know it, ha it has a lot of salt in here so yeah I'm gonna do about a half y'all of that now with all the rest of this stuff I'm gonna be using honey it's going to be a full tablespoon so onion powder tablespoon you know once you start adding all of these seasonings it starts to smell so good of course we're gonna have a tablespoon and a half for this garlic powder y'all you know what I've said this before and I, and I know I've seen a lot of people using Walmart's uh, garlic powder it is better than any name brand garlic powder it really is I love 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 so you know I got a hefty spoon of that one I love this garlic powder. Y'all. And then we're going to add a tablespoon, of course, of paprika. And here again, y'all, I use the Spanish smoked paprika because it really does have a good flavor. Trust me, it really does. And I'm going to do a tablespoon of that. And then I'm going to, this adobo, I love all-purpose adobo. It is really good. I'm going to do a, 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 about a tablespoon of this as well, y'all. Well, 
Yeah, because it's good. Y'all see that? And then I'm going to use a tablespoon of Italian seasoning. Y'all, I'm loving this Italian. It's so lemony. Did y'all know that? Oh, it smells good. Oh, I wish y'all could sniff and scratch and sniff, huh? So we're going to give this a stir, y'all, and get all those seasons incorporated with one another. And let me tell y'all something else I like to do. Once I get it all stirred up, I like to uh, taste it as well. Because you'll see uh, what your food going to taste like once you get all this good seasoning on it, right? So this is how I like to do it. You know, I believe in soap and water, so... You know, I don't care if y'all snub y'all nose up. It don't matter to me. But I like to put a little bit right here on this spoon. And then I'm going to take my finger, get some stuck. <laughs> my gosh, that's that's absolutely delicious. Let me wash my hands, y'all. Oh, the, oh, the, oh, that's good. Man, that is so, so delicious, y'all. I sure wish y'all could taste this. This is delicious. Now, let's get it in this chicken. Give me a moment, y'all. I'll be right back. All right, y'all. Let's get to seasoning this good old chicken. So, first, I'm going to season underneath this skin, uh, and, and then I'll put my butter on afterwards. And y'all, don't forget... We used to do this back in the day. I will wash my hands with soap and water. You you want to loosen some of that up in there, so that uh, but you don't want to tear your skin, right? So you see how my hand is under there? I need to get under there because that's where all that seasoning and butter is going to go. So I'm just gonna loosen that up a little bit. Oh y'all, I have my oven preheated on 450. I will uh, let this. This is a like a. Uh, four pound chicken as well. I'm going to let it cook on 450 for 30 minutes and then I'm going to um, put it down to 425 and let it cook for another uh, 30 minutes. Let me wash my hands. Yeah. So I'm going to spoon some of this seasoning under here and give it a massage, y'all. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm That's going to be so good. Oh, my goodness. That's going to be good. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Now we're going to take some and sprinkle it. Uh, in this chicken, y'all, I want to get all the wows of this chicken, so I'm going to turn it upside down, flip it around, pat the ass. How about that? Well, not the ass. So, you want to get all that seasoning on all the wows inside of the cavity of this chicken. Because you want the flavor. And don't forget, y'all, we're going to be stuffing onion and rosemary in the body of this chicken as well. Now, when it comes to seasoning my chicken, I'm going to go ahead and flip it, and I'm going to get the back season because we're going to cook it breast side up. Yeah, you want this season to get everywhere. Do not be shy of your seasoning. You want a good tasting chicken. Can y'all see I'm all over the door chicken? Y'all look at that. Get all up under there. I hope y'all can see this. Well, yeah, y'all can. I'm going to be doing just doing some uh, mashed potatoes and a yellow and white corn, y'all, uh, for this, uh, this dinner. Look at that. Let's get it flipped back over. And y'all see, I try to keep a 
wet and dry hand as I season. Ooh, baby. This is going to be good. Oh, y'all, and to close up these legs, I'm going to, uh, I don't have no, um, no, uh, what you call it, stuff you tie the legs of these, these, uh, chickens and turkeys, but I don't have none of that. So, I'm going to use foil paper. You know, and every time I try to tuck these wings back, I get confused. Y'all, y'all got to see this. We got to put this butter on the inside, though, y'all. So let me wash my hands. Damn, that look good. Let's go, let's go. Oh, y'all, uh, last night I went out to Galveston and um, to the Art Walk. Man, I saw some beautiful art. I'm gonna try to post it on my YouTube page. Look at that chicken, y'all. Let's get uh, let's get this butter under the under the breast, and then um, we're gonna stuff it inside with this rosemary and butter. I mean, rosemary and onion, and then we're going to get that far paper and kind of tie the legs up. So, my butter has been sitting out, so it is a little soft, which I love. So, it makes it easy to apply, because once I get it under there, I am going to want to kind of give it a massage. And don't forget, y'all, get that under there. you give it a massage later. Y'all see that? Just massage it on in there, honey. Give it a little more. Get it on in there. Get it way back there in the back. So you can get it down there in that breast back there. Mm-hmm. That's going to be good. Let me wash my hands one more time. And we're going to get, I just cut the onion up any kind of way, y'all. We're going to get that up in there. And then I'm going to put a little bit more around the onion. I mean, around the chicken, y'all. We're going to get, y'all smell it. Can y'all smell that? Rosemary. I'm going to put some underneath that skin, too. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Put that right on in there, y'all. Don't be shy. That's going to be good. Mmm. Dang. You know, rosemary smells so good. Get under there. Oh, y'all. I wish y'all can smell what it smells like in here. Just put that around there. We have us some roasted onion. And then I'm going to put the rest of this rosemary around there too. Yeah, this is going to be a good doggone chicken. You know, I actually bought that rosemary to do a treatment on my hair. But that's okay. You know, when I touch that chicken, I want to... Uh, that season back on there, y'all. And y'all can, uh, if y'all have any season left over, you can uh, save it for at least two weeks in a tight container. Y'all, we're going to get this chicken together, and then we're going to go ahead and put it in the oven.
about washing my hands over a hundred doggone times a day. But we're going to use this fall paper. And I'm going to just bunch that fall paper up like this. And to, to uh, tie them legs together. And kind of turn it. We want it to be strong. Tie them legs together. This is probably what we need to tie our legs together when we get a little hoish. Can I say that? <laughs> All right, yeah. Let's get these legs tied together. Oh, that's pretty. All right, y'all. We ready? You ready? Here we go. Look. It's going in the oven. Uh, we'll be back when it's time to eat. Oh, when it's done cooking. Bye, y'all. Hey, hustlers, we back. The chicken is done. Are y'all ready to see it? Hey, 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 hey. Let me see. Let, let me let y'all see. And I'm gonna let it rest before I cut it, of course, you know. Y'all ready to see this roasted chicken? Let's do it. Let me, you know what, let's just bring it down. Look at that. Look at that. It's done. Yes. So y'all, uh, I, I remember I let it cook for 30 minutes on 450 and then I turn it down to 425 for 30 minutes as well. You know your chicken is done if you put it in the thickest part of the thigh and it gets to 165. Is done. So y'all, the side dishes is mashed potatoes and I found some white and yellow corn at the grocery store and that's what we have in white and yellow corn on the side. Uh, I'm not going to eat no bread. Cause you know we ate them cornbread muffins last week and you know i got that little poof poof right there let me show y'all my, my little poof poof i got my little poof poof right here but it ain't hiding this right here hey <laughs> y'all know i'm still naughty and nice i wish i could bring it back y'all but you know i can't bring my toys on there no more but look here i hope you're going to enjoy your sunday dinner and y'all will see me eating in a couple of days whichever one of these come first holla bye